Hello, everybody. My name is Luke Saidon, and this is The Naughty Carriage on the Orphan Train. It's quite a long title, so I'll repeat it so that you digest it. The Naughty Carriage on the Orphan Train is inspired from the true story from about 100 years ago in America, where a quarter of a million orphaned children were forcibly removed from the streets of New York, put on a train, and taken to the Midwest, where they were handed out to people who would take them in. My story is about the children who were not picked up by anybody, the ones who stood there exhibited yet were rejected and had to be taken back onto the orphan train, circulating endlessly in this process, awaiting for the permission to love and be loved. The true orphan train propaganda poster called these children the unwanted and unloved children of the world. I've got a brand new title. I'm calling these children naughty, different children. This is not the conventional orphan musical where the success is determined by finding a family or finding a home. This is a story of children who are equipped with curiosity and imagination and are actively seeking happiness beyond what society thinks is right for you at that point in time. This is the musical to empower all the young minds, young people who will be watching it within their thoughts and questions, limitless questions about this world. This is a cautionary tale about the dangers of not being naughty. The Naughty Orphans welcome us to their version of these events, to their version of the story, and they sing as they pledge to be the children who are not. Pardon me while I run to the piano. <laughs> Ladies, gents, and those who join us here tonight, a play rather dark and grim, a children's story, but not quite. The pain of this most gruesome plot A train to take this sorry lot To a world of good But in a world of good Meet the children who are not Look at your world right now and tell me what you've missed The muck below the flower bed, that's where we can exist For in the shadows of your gaze, the orphans found their spot Naughty kids with orphan ways of goodness, we are not Orphan girl, can't you see? Orphan boy, be like me for pity never made the eagle bold The pity never made its wings much stronger The mawkish love you've sent our way Won't make it to the orphan's play Avoid the good, the sensible lot Join the children who are naughty kids With naughty rules who've grown up rather soon The ones who seemingly can't follow the piper's tune So what if the naughty kids pick pockets as a trade? A spoon Full of sugar's not gonna fix them, I'm afraid. Orphan child, the naughty breeds. Orphan kids with naughty needs. For they will never see beyond their noses. They will never know what children's woe is. With the hoods, throttle, and portion, no one ever loved the orphan. Forget the words, what you've been taught. Of all good children, we are not. Really, Pinky, promise we are not. These think about the magic and adventure of characters like Peter Pan and Alice and Oliver and the Lost Boys as we're going to chuck them in this dark and macabre world that we've come to associate with visionaries like Tim Burton and Wes Anderson and Jean-Pierre Jeannot. These are the real life unpicked orphans, the underdogs of the time or maybe of this time as well. These were the immigrant children. These were the children with disabilities, the boys who were not strong and the girls who were not fit to be wives. We are going to follow their journey as they attempt to escape from the orphan train. We are going to follow their chaotic sense of logic and wonder about the world as they outsmart the system. And the jeopardy of the peace comes when they are faced with an opportunity to join a family unit by parading as children who went missing. All of them true stories that we are combining in this fantastical narrative. A cast of six grown-up actors is going to bring this story to life. Not only does this give us an opportunity to create a world around them that is big and daunting, scary and belittling, but also because these children were adults way before their time. They had to take care of each other. They had to be each other's mothers and fathers. It brings me to the next piece that I'd like to share with you today. It's the point in the musical when the youngest orphan, at the tender age of three or four, starts crying and apologizes for doing so because he was told that it is naughty to cry. 
But the leader of the troop, a wise kid called Champ, says that it's not only okay to cry, but one should if one must, because there is a bear who drinks tears, who roams around the world with empty jars and flasks waiting to fill them up from teary eyes. This is the heart of the story that I'm trying to tell here. These children find hope in little pockets of fantasies and tell me what hope have the rest of us got if we do not have access to that limitless dreaming, that curiosity of a child. This is the bear who drinks tears. Thank you. Here, his paws, he rubs his claws. With a clanking sound of flasks, he approaches and kindly asks. You see the puppet of a bear forming, very kind. He sings, pardon me, sweet child. Have you tears to spare? For you see, weeping child, I'm very thirsty. My belly's empty. My throat is dry. So you see, sweet child, I gather tears, sweet child. From teary eyes, distressing sighs, I'll keep them here. In cans and pots, sweet child. So cry away, sweet child, as you wish. All the weeping girls and boys of the world Both the small and both the big I've observed Are told to hold back tears and hide their fears But I've got a riddle here for you What's a bear who drinks tears to do? So you see, sweet child I gather tears, sweet child From teary eyes the weeps and sighs, I'll keep them here. And now I see, sweet child, you've no more tears today. So I'll give my goodbyes. Great thanks for all your cries. Until you cry again. From the bear who drinks tears, keep well. Cheers. Traveled miles on this stage. I am so excited. I'm originally from Malta, but so excited to be here today introducing myself and my work to the UK theatre industry. I want to connect today with directors, dramaturgs, designers, people who can join me on this vision, improve this vision, and see this piece from its early stages onto its production. Producers and agents, I'm so keen to be represented, be it this piece, be it my other work. But more specifically, I'm really keen to start conversations with production houses and organizations who have direct links with communities of people who might share an emotional resonance with the passengers upon the naughty carriage on the orphan train. Let's work together to tell this story, but enhance it with what needs to be told. To create an honest story, a relevant story, is wickedly naughty, but most important, the champion for childlike curiosity. My name is Luke, and in case you haven't caught the title, it's the naughty carriage on the orphan train. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.